Jim A.W. just announced their new deal with Warner Brothers Discovery. Why don't we talk about the ratings that were for the night of the announcement? Ah, forgot about them ratings. What in the world went on in the real world? Not how much money they're getting paid, but how many people are actually watching. AEW Dynamite, Wednesday, October 2nd, 2024, 8 to 10.31 p.m. On average, watched by 680,000 viewers. Ouch, they went down on their fifth anniversary? Well, you know, a lot of people have done that, I guess. So I guess I oh, shouldn't. Come on now. Well, you know what? Honestly, they promoted Grand Slam a lot better than they did this, don't you think? Well, that's true, because it was a Grand Slam, whereas this was only a apparently a blowjob. Well, these uh, blowjob numbers were compiled by WrestleNomics. Quarter one, 8 to 8, 15 p.m., the Pac, Claudio, Casignoli, Marina Shafir, John Moxley promo. Please get a stable name. Will Ospreay versus Ricochet starts. 801,000 viewers. Okay, and one would think that if any match would keep the AEW audience placated, satisfied, and warm and fuzzy, it would be this one. So I wouldn't think they would lose too many viewers, but at the same time, with that overall average and starting at 800,000, by the end of the program, it's not looking too rosy. So go ahead. Quarter 2, 8.15, 8.30 p.m. Will Ospreay versus Ricochet continued with picture-in-picture -picture ads. The post-match with Takeshita. The mercedes Monet Camille backstage promo. Mm. 743,000 viewers. Oh, okay, so... Uh, wait, 50, 58,000 people did not like all of that banger. That's more than I thought would have left in this uh, situation. But it, it does get repetitive after a while. And so far, and the trend will continue at least in the next quarter, it's in line with the 90-day trend that WrestleNomics has uh, compiled here. Quarter 3, 8.30 to 8.45 p.m. Starts with an ad break. The guns getting attacked by Adam Page. The learning tree with Mark Briscoe. 702,000 viewers. Ooh. So that followed, you had Mercedes, then you've got, well, the thing with the guns was meaningless because it was a minute or less, and then Jericho appears, you've lost now 99,000 people from the start of the program and another 41,000 from the previous 15 minutes. And as I said to you before, that's in line with the 90-day trend. The 90-day trend is losing 100,000 viewers within the first two quarters. Jesus Christ. All right. Quarter four, 8.45 to 9 p.m., the Darby Allen promo and the start of Juice Robinson versus Hangman Adam Page with picture in picture, 704,000 viewers. Okay, that's just people coming back from the fridge or the bathroom, I guess, at this point. It's almost the same. From the learning tree. <clears throat> Quarter five, the big nine o'clock hour, 9 to 9.15 p.m., the continuation of The Hangman versus The Juice. The post-match with Jay Ping-Pong White. Ja <laughs> the Jack Perry Shibata backstage angle. And another ad break. 670,000 viewers. Oh, good Lord. So, that's 34,000 at the top of the hour. They didn't pick up anybody. Well, again, the Met game was on. Maybe all of a sudden everyone's watching the Mets. Quarter 6, 9.15 to 9.30 p.m. Serena Deeb versus Britt Baker with Picture in Picture and the post-match with Queen Amanata. 669,000 viewers. Oh. Okay, so they're pretty flat there, but everybody in Pittsburgh was watching. So they, they've gone 702, 704, 670, 669. Whenever they drop, at least those people are sticking around for two quarters. Well, we go now to quarter seven, 9.30 to 9.45 p.m. The Hook backstage promo, the Christian Cage promo, an ad break, the Mariah May Willow Nightingale backstage angle, Private Party versus Iron Savages, the post-match with the Elite Shibata, 
Christopher Daniels, Jack Perry, 708,000 viewers. What? So 30 with 30, where did they pick up 39,000 people on that? That's odd. That's something there. I don't know what, but <laughs> we go now to quarter eight. I remind you, uh, there's a long overrun, so we got a ways to go. There's two overruns. Uh, technically three quarters here, actually. It goes into 9.45 to 10 p.m. The MVP, Prince Nana, Shelton Benjamin debut backstage angle, an ad break, and the start of Brian Danielson versus Kazushka Okada with picture in picture. 642,000 viewers. What? Over now, wait, up. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, hold on, hold on here. We went from 660, what was in quarter seven again? Uh, quarter seven was Hook's backstage promo, Christian Cage's backstage promo, or tape promo, an ad break, Mariah May and Willow Nightingale's backstage angle, Private Party versus the Iron Savages, and then the post-match with the Elite. <laughs> that quarter hour went from 669 to 708, and as soon as that quarter was over with, Danielson and O'Cody start in the main event, and they lose 66,000 people. You think there was a power surge on the Nielsen box in quarter seven? Yeah, it came from Cucamonga. People saw that and tuned out. Well, let's go anyway. to the overrun. 10 to 10.15 p.m., Danielson versus Okada, 596,000 viewers. Oh, good heavens. 10.15 to 10.30 p.m., the continuation of Danielson versus Okada with picture-in-picture. Picture. The post-match with Moxley, Claudio Pack, Marina Shafir, Wheeler Yuta, and The Hammer, 574,000 viewers. Oh, good God. One minute overrun. <laughs> 10.30 to 10.31 p.m., 561,000 viewers. Jesus Christ, so the longer that thing went, the more they lost. So what value does the overrun have? And it's happened to Danielson a bunch over the last that, year. It, they went from 642 to 561 from the start to the finish of the thing. Okada's not over with anyone except the most diehard AEW fans. Danielson's not as valuable as he once was. There was a time a few years ago, five years ago, in fact, if AEW had had Danielson versus CM Punk, it would have really meant something. Punk means more today. Danielson doesn't. Yeah. Danielson's value has been devalued in AEW. He, he's happy, so he can't take that away from him. And he's getting to do what he wants. But the overall value to the average wrestling fan, to the wrestling fans that watch wrestling and choose what to watch or not watch, it isn't there anymore. So they started with 801,000, and over the course of the thing, the very long thing, they lost 240,000 viewers. That means 240, 480, 720. They lost 30% or tw high 20s percent of the audience. That's and, and by the way, for the key demo, just to point this out, they started 333, but that's skewed a little high from the previous show. 302. 279, 275, 267, 266, 278, 272. So they're consistent. And then here's the Danielson Okada match 240, 233, 226. <laughs> so even those fans were tuning out. If they'd really got uh, an hour, they would have really tested some, uh, some limit. You know, they're, next week, I think they're on Tuesday, Title Tuesday. That may end up being the lowest rated AEW Dynamite ever. Well, yeah, and it's not fair that you know, I'm sure it'll be rotten because all of the, all of their shows are rotten. But it's not fair to hold that against them if they're being switched over on, on a different night. If that was Title Tuesday, what was this? How many title matches were on this show? Oh no, <laughs> yeah. no, there was a girls' match that wasn't for a belt on this oh, one, that's so true. they'll that's they'll true. close that loophole up next week. But there's AEW Dynamite off their big renewal. Any final thoughts about the numbers here? Uh, I'm not surprised because, Jesus, how, again, everything that happens happened in the previous segment and it's going to happen in the following segment. There's nothing special anymore you need to sit back and wait for because it constantly the same shit happens. So you can afford to drift off to sleep after you've seen some of it. <laughs> 